had noticed a lump um, in my breast. We had a mammogram and an ultrasound done in 2009. Um, we were told it was just dense breast tissue um, and that if we got pregnant that it would grow. Um, subsequently, we got pregnant and it grew significantly. Oh, it's got to be less than 1% of women diagnosed with breast cancer are diagnosed during pregnancy. It's very uncommon. I had a biopsy on April 28, 2010, um, came back the next day at um, 420 um, saying that it was cancer and that she would like me to be to the hospital at 8 o'clock to be induced for having our daughter and um, so that we could get the breast cancer treatment started as soon as possible. So in 24 hours we went from thinking it was just dense tissue to um, you're going to have your daughter and we're going to have um, remove the tumor next week when your daughter's a couple days old. Your mind automatically goes to, well, this could be fatal. Then what are we going to do? We went in um, Thursday, April 29th to have her. 24 hours later, we had her, and um, she very quickly stopped breathing and found herself in the NICU. So I was diagnosed with breast cancer. We had a daughter in the NICU. Um, so it was really a surreal experience. When we had our son, there was so much anticipation and joy in the buildup for the delivery. Uh, with my daughter, we spent the entire 12, 24 hours studying cancer. So pretty much as soon as she delivered, instead of going right on to mastec mastectomy, for example, which is removing the breast, we started with a combination of chemotherapy with trastuzumab, the antibody. And we gave that treatment for about four months to shrink the tumor. We had really good success with that. And then she went on to have surgery and was able to save the breast. Dr. Silverman was fantastic. She came in and said, boy, somebody wanted me to see you in a hurry, you know? And we said, well, you're, you're, the, you're the best and you're who we need to see. So she, um, she just immediately went to work and the whole, the whole team made me feel all the time that they had no one else to see that day except for me. She went on to a clinical trial, a new trial that we, of a medicine we were testing at university hospitals called neratinib. Neratinib is a, an, a pill that's a breast cancer pill specifically for HER2 positive breast cancer. We were very, very into clinical trials um, because our sort of layperson understanding was really all good things come from clinical trials. This trial that Sue participated in may be um, a way to get that drug into FDA approval uh, ultimately. So it definitely helps. It's how we move the science forward in cancer is by doing trials and to test one treatment against another or our best treatment against what may be the new treatment and trying to do better with the next set of patients. It's such a feeling of comfort and peace to, to know and you've got the best in the world who know what's going on literally around the world and the area that directly affects us. When you look back now, it seems like it was impossible to have survived it, you know, because everything was so overwhelming at the time. Um, and I think had we known what we we're going to go through, we thought, I can't do it. Get your feet up there. Today, my daughter is almost exactly four years old. Uh, the feeding tube was removed a year ago. She's able to eat independently. She's a very happy, very well-adjusted little girl. And my wife is cancer-free and has been since 2010. So for the last three years, now there's been continual medical follow-up treatments and monitoring and some additional appointments. But since 2010, we've been through the woods. So the University Hospital walked us through truly the darkest period of our life. And tonight we can say because of the care we received, we have a very happy life.